Hello everyone, welcome back. Alright, so last time we left off, we got done with one of my favorite places in uh, in Demon Souls per se, the Valley of the Foulman. Um, I did, I, like I said, I do like the place a lot due to, I think it's just solely um, due to Astraea herself and uh, Garo Vinland, you know? I think they they kind of just drive that whole thing together, in, in my opinion. Um, kind of finding out about them, it just kind of brings a whole new light to the place if you think about it, you know? Damn. Such a fucking cool place. Alright, we need to go and off ourselves up here. Real quick. So we are in human form, we need to be in so far. All right, so in the last run, we did, um, we got the, I believe it's a true blood sword. No, yeah, true blood sword. We got, which is awesome. And we got that from uh, building the boss weapon. You uh, you get it from Astraea herself, which is her soul. You do need a broken sword as well, which you find in the uh, Valley of the Foulman as well. After you defeat the um, the uh, that uh, I, f I forgot her name. It was the NPC that we fought all the way by the back uh, while going through the uh, through the little swamp area. We have to go all the way to the back just to kill her. But. Now we're moving on to, um, what was it, uh, Latria. We're all going to go venture up top and see what became of the old man and his demented self. So last time we were here, we got to find out uh, about the personal hope a little bit and upper Latria, that being that the fool's idol was an em an embodiment of the old queen and uh there are some speculations whether the um the old queen could have been the merchant um down but um the uh well she's she's the only merchant there so so the queen being the merchant that we meet there and she's singing and i i, I do think there's some truth there because um you know, I mean, she's uh, she speaks as if she knows a lot about the old man, more than anyone um, speaks in general uh, about the old man altogether. So I think that's very interesting. I think we also did read the upper letter. Let's see, a church devoted to an idol that mimicked the queen gave her gave the prisons a ray of hope, but no doubt a deep malice awakened them, poised uh, poised to uh, mercilessly dash what faint dreams. They had so um we, we get to find out what became to be of some of these poor souls that were down below in the prison of hope which is uh obviously not a prison of hope i mean we don't i mean so a, a couple of things can be said right it's just like they they speak as if okay this was a prison of hope right but this was built way before the old men even got here so Latcher wasn't a uh, a place one would say that was um a goody two shoe place it was it was a place of learning which is where uh apparently where we come from and there is something that can be said that we are we could be a descendant of uh from uh from the cool from the school of yarmadar right which is kind of cool to to know you know just like little little bits and little hints and stuff that we learn from our garbs that we wear and stuff that we uh you know we learn throughout the world which is super cool you know all right so let's move on we have to get to these to those chains right over there so that we may uh lower this disgusting beast uh all the way down below to the basement of this place and uh yeah, we'll, we'll we'll get to that. This is where we also get to meet um, Yurt, the Silent Chief, as well. And 
uh, no one speaks really kindly of York the Southern Chief at all. And careful with the gargoyles up here. As you can see, there are some that uh, fly around. So, I believe one of these do come, does come to life. After we fall, oh, is one of these? No? Okay. Maybe I was mistaken. I uh, know one of them does. I can't remember which one it was though. We have a saw item down over here. That item that's uh, right above us, we don't get to really pick that up uh, anytime soon. I can assure you of that. Alright, now definitely one of these. But you see right here? There it is. You can tell because they have a little sword. Oh, so close. Try not to target lock them, otherwise you might fall to your death, which isn't that great at all. Where is he? I heard him flapping his wings around, but I have no idea where he went. Okay, I guess you're just gonna stay over there then. This might do us some good here. Come on. Oh god. Pretty good damage. Pick that up as well. They uh, they drop a couple of stuff. I know that um, one of the items that they do uh, they do drop, which is a very rare item, is the bow that they drop. So if you do get it, uh, consider yourself lucky, because uh, it takes quite a while. Uh, these two, these don't come to life as because uh, you don't really see the sword. Oh, I forgot about you. <laughs> And uh, you, the only way for you to get that little crossbow is you're going to see certain uh, gargoyles actually uh, have this uh, crossbow that you can use, that they, uh, they shoot at you from afar. So those are the only ones that can drop the crossbow, and there's a pretty low chance of getting it. Same like with the shield here too as well. There's a pretty low chance of you getting the shield as well. Luckily we did get it um, early on, so that was kind of cool. Most of you will probably be right about now with the um, uh, with the heater shield, which is perfectly fine. Or the uh, I think it's the the Cresta. There's a, we picked up another shield too as well. The uh, the Crest shield is also a pretty good one as well. It's, I would either be rocking right now, if I didn't have this shield on me, I'll probably either be using the, uh, the crush shield, or the, um, I believe it's the kite shield it's called. Forget the name. There's no gargoyles right that I have to worry about. Should be good to pick this up. There we go. Get some moonlight shards. Awesome. I don't think we can go really, really uh, go far because this is blocked off right here by some kind of tentacles, I believe it was. Yeah, these guys are pretty easy to kill. And let's see. This is that uh, the door right here that's blocked off by some tentacles. Right here. Yeah. We need to uh, we need to get it to go down so that we may be able to proceed. Yeah. Okay, oh, there. It is. These are the crossbow guys I'm referring to. You wanna get this drop down? And they do a little backing away after they come at you. Just a juke you mainly. Alrighty, okay. Are you gonna come over here or just stay up there? I'll use that to my advantage. Can I even aim a little bit more up right now? Oops. 
coming over here or not? Alright, let's go to it. up as well. Get another item right up here. There we go. And now we just go back. Nothing else over here. Um, just mark our way up. Said our main goal is just to get the uh, we have to break the chains so that uh, the demon that's hanging right over here can actually um, go all the way down below. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here, yeah. There's an item we can get. It's right down over here. I'm gonna come back and get that in a second. It's a it's a bit more harder to get. Still get it. Continue on. I don't think we can. I believe that there isn't anything here that we uh do no. Alright. Alright. Now this item right over here that we can get. It's actually very tricky. I believe we have to fall right over here. Hold on a second. I'm gonna fall around the edge, like right here. Just kinda like inch your way, alright? A little tricky, but we can't. Oh, <clears throat> damn it. I think I might have to do it at the other edge. We're gonna have a lot of that here, so. Nothing to worry about there. Thank you very much for healing <laughs> souls. <laughs> Just like run past these guys, it wouldn't really matter. Let's see what I mean. They gotta drop, we just keep on going. You don't even have to fight them. I'm gonna go pick up my souls up here. Get it from here? I try. I don't remember it being here though. Oh damn. <clears throat> oh well. <sighs> Alright, round three, boys. I think 
this is the one right here. Oh my god, why does he slide like that? Oh, I fucking hate it. in the charm boys. Oh, I almost fell down there by accident. For sure, that the way to get it is from here. What am I missing? I don't think you can fall from the other side either, so it has to be from here specifically. What I can't remember is. This right here. There we go. See, chat. I know I wasn't crazy. All right, no, don't send that yet. Do I have anything to send? I'm pretty sure. I, yeah, there it is. Send to storage and send to storage. All right. Really, I still can't pick that up. Uh, no, don't equip that. It's not really what I want to do. So, oh, here we go. All right, let's send this to storage. Thank you. Currently equip. Oh wow! I why do I have that equip? Damn it! Okay, come on. All right, here we go. Send to storage. Uh, send to storage as well. Center storage, center storage, center storage. I don't think a uh, ring of sincere prayer. This is the uh, ring that ascended Australia above. Uh, more like ascended towards godhood, if you will. True relic of God discovered by Estrella, the sixth saint at a tender young age. Alright, here we go. So we get the rune shield and the rune sword. Now, if you guys remember, the uh, the rune sword was uh, actually, we saw Astrava was the one that had the sword here. I wonder if he perished here at some point or someone else had it. Uh, a gold sword with a intricate design. Its uh, physical attack is um, negligible, but it is fortified with an arcane rune protecting its wielder, its wielder from magic attacks. The weapon of a uh, great hero of legend who also wielded the matching rune shield. The great hero of legend. Interesting. Okay. Alright, we get the rune shield. A golden shield uh, graced with an exquisite design, uh, fortified with an arcane, uh, with arcane force, protecting its uh, wielder from magic attack. This uh, weapon of a great hero of legend who also wielded the matching rune sword. Right. So this must have been a relic, if we will. I think little by little you guys are starting to piece together. 
who, um, in case it hasn't uh, been too obvious yet, who Estrava is. But uh, he is obviously of somebody of nobility and uh, very higher up as he uh, wields uh, some legendary, um, legendary uh, equipment on such as the rune shield and the uh, rune sword which are said to be from a uh, from a legendary hero of which we do not know who this legendary hero is sure it must have been <laughs> We have another. Pretty sure he is a crossbow one too, so. Yeah, see how he retreats back real quick? Take care of two of them. Alright, I Okay. <laughs> okay, that's funny. That one actually hit someone all the way up top. That's a bitch. Okay. For a hot second, I thought he didn't die. He was just floating up on midair. So I was like, what the hell? Pretty sure I killed him. as this may seem uh, don't go through this border right here at least not just yet because if you do you will die okay? it's uh it was made that way for a reason so if you if you try to get it before you open the uh, the little gate here you will probably end up dying because uh, it wouldn't allow you to go around to get it for some odd reason because um the fog is kind of like this um blockway if you will where it wouldn't allow you to go uh, it wouldn't allow you to let you go around the edge it would just like throw you off if you did so uh don't do that inch your way here there we go we get some h spice thank you all right Alright, let's be careful around here. There's a couple of, uh, I know we killed one of them, but there's probably another gargoyle around here that we have to take care of. Just be careful as you make your way up, because they could come either behind you or from the front. <laughs> um, no, uh, no pun intended. Yeah. Wait for the little elevator to come around here. Because we killed the dark one. Well, there's another one coming in. See? Oh, I think there was some item over here. I'm gonna double check for a Yep, Meredith. No, it was not crazy. Come on. Yeah, don't uh, don't rush that. All right, just kind of wait for it to come down. I say your best bet is to always just kill the gargoyles above anything else, and then worry about you know whatever else may come your way. Killing them shield is gonna be your main priority because they have a chance to knock you off, and uh, that don't really suck. Over there, if you guys notice, there's a couple of uh, stuff dropped over there. And somebody resides inside. We'll, uh, we'll find out who that is.
All right, so here's a chain that I spoke of we have to get rid of. We have to kill these because they're protecting it. Kind of giving their, uh, their soul essence so that they could protect the, um, the chain here. But if we kill them, they no longer protect it. Demon slightly. Oh god, that is a very nasty pulp of mass. And if I remember, I believe it is on this one. There is a uh, a way to go up, but for us to go up over here, we need um, white world. Uh, no, sorry. Yeah, white world tendency which we have not achieved yet. We should be able to achieve it probably on the next boss fight maybe or the next two. So we should be almost there, but there a, a magical platform will spawn here so that we may be able to traverse up and pick up a certain key so that we may be able to save uh, Lord Ridiel. All right. So let's head on down over here. I don't think we have to deal with any uh, stupid gargoyle per se. Now you can go down here if you want. I, think, I believe it lowers you to the basement, but I normally like going over here first. And uh, there is a gentleman here that we meet, and uh, he isn't uh, very friendly either. May I add? So you can, if you want, you could choose to go down from over there, but I want to go here first. Alright, let's head on up here. Pick this item up. Alright, and as you can see, um, this is actually blocking the uh, our way to go. So we have to open the cell for us to um, actually go down below. So we have to free him. And uh, Patch has actually told us about this gentleman right here. We hear the silent sheaf. And as you can see, he isn't uh, somebody who looks very trustworthy. The horns and his whole outfit. Everything about him is like a giveaway that he isn't uh, somebody you trust. He looks like somebody uh, you... More like an assassin, if you will, you know? Let's, uh, let's talk to your over here and see what he has to say. Are you here to fight the demons? If so, then help me escape this place. I am on your side. I have come to face the demons. No. Come back here. You will one day regret this. I do not forget those who do me wrong. Now, the thing about Yurt over here is that, um, if you haven't noticed, not really haven't noticed, but whenever you do talk to him, he talks to you in a very subtle voice. But the moment that you have done anything to him, and I mean anything, he will come and murder you no matter what. Right? So. If you end up helping your over here and you let him go free will he will go back into the um, uh, into the nexus and every time you go back in and out he will start killing the NPCs little by little one by one until probably the kind of into I think it's only the kind of uh, candle maiden will be left so you don't want to have this guy around at all. He isn't somebody trustworthy and anybody or anyone you want around your um, NPCs. And it is something to be said of Patches. Somebody who isn't that very trustworthy has fear of this man. Then you know that anything that he says should not be uh, taken lightly. So we're actually going to free him, but we're going to kill him. Otherwise, he'll kill us. I am on your side. 
I have come to face the demons. Oh, no, no. Yes. Come here, you're. <laughs> Don't give this man a chance. <laughs> Why? You. Yep. Don't give him a chance, alright, guys? He does not deserve it. Zero chances. So you do get his armor, which is kind of cool. Alright, now let's go down below. Proceed on. Right, just kind of wait here. You don't really have to do anything. It'll just close on its own. And it'll take us down into the basement.